Hello world. So um, today I'm going to be talking to you about fire safety and the fact that we all, we've all been there, we've all gone out and we're worried about our printers catching fire. And if you haven't upgraded your firmware and ensured that thermal runway protection is enabled, this is a real risk. So we all want to be aware whether we're printing in a garage, whether it's in a little print shop or whether it's in our actual bedroom. When we go out, we want to make sure we know that our property is safe. And um, I'm going to be showing you a Wi-Fi smoke alarm today that is amazing. Um, stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, so this is the device. It's a Wi-Fi smoke alarm, the XS01WT, and it's by Xsense. Um, replaceable battery, which is really nice, comes with its own apps. Certified ROHS, uh, made in China. So quite a nice little box. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting. Uh, comes with some really easy fitting instructions. So let's get this thing open and take a look and see what we've got. So in the packet, it's um, pretty straightforward. You've got the device, some instructions, a little uh, warranty after sales advice card. The, the user manual is pretty straightforward. There's two ways to pair this. Um, the simple method seems to work fine. Um, just follow the instructions if you get stuck and it doesn't work for you. Um, it's it's really it really is super straightforward. I'm going to walk you through the the easy method. So it comes with some wall plugs and some screws for mounting, and then you've got the the actual smoke alarm. And I was quite surprised at the size of this. I thought it'd be bigger, but it's it's really compact. Okay, so if you are looking for one of these devices and you, you watch the video and you think, yeah, that, that's what I need. There is a 20% off um, voucher below in the description. So check that out. And there's a link straight, you, straight to uh, the website to purchase it. Also comes with a little mounting device if you don't want to use, um, if you don't necessarily want to use the screws. It's a little sticky back mount. So that's the bracket. And it's pretty straightforward it just you know you attach that to the wall and then clip it on so obviously uh configuring these devices is what a lot of people worry about whether they whether they're easy to configure um so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the um the pull and that just lets you take the battery out okay and there's a little plastic cover preventing that now that actual tab doesn't come out so don't don't force that out that's in there just for to make the battery easier to remove and you can see there it had a little little cover on it to stop the battery um, working in transport so we just pop that back in and that's ready to go little flashing blinking light on it we're on the on the test button and that's essentially in like sort of pair mode so it's actually at the moment it's trying to to connect to the app so we need the app off the app store so just go to your app store, iOS or Android, and you're searching for um, the app. And it's Tua Smart, T-U-Y-A Smart. And then just click install, give that a, a couple of seconds and that'll install and should be available on your phone. Relatively small app at 51 megs. Okay, so then you can find the app on your device. Just click the icon and it will load up. Okay, so it gives you the user agreement to accept. And then you need to create an account. So just click sign up. It will ask you to put your email address in and then it will send you a code to your email. Pop that in and verify and then set your password. Confirm your email address is yours. 
Uh, it gives you some data analysis and personalization options. You can tick or untick these and then just go to the app. And then you need to add a device. So just click the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And it will give you a list of multiple devices that this company makes that you can add. So it also says that you can only use it on a 2.4 gigahertz network, Wi-Fi network. Okay, and that wrong passwords are the main cause of sync issues, so make sure you know your Wi-Fi password. And please complete the pairing within three minutes or it you have to start all over again. So this is the list of devices and you want to go to sensors and you're going to just uh, dash down the left hand side and then you're just going to click the, uh, the device you want to add. So we are adding a smoke alert. So let's check this out now. Okay, so you can add either alarm or sensor. Just go for sensor Wi-Fi at the top. You can see under sensors, you've got sensor. You've got loads of different options, but go for sensor Wi-Fi and then click allow only by using this app. And then you need to put in your, connect to your Wi-Fi. So mine's the TP link. Put your password in and it says reset the device first, power on the device to confirm that the indicator is flashing, which mine is. And then you'll get this adding device uh, countdown. Once it's counted down, it'll add and it'll ask you to carry out a notification test. You can just press test. Okay, and you should get an audible signal on the alarm. Do you want to auto start the app? Yes, we do. And then you need to follow the instructions to sort out the battery usage shows it doesn't turn off the app. Okay, so once that's done, it should uh, all be set up and ready to go. And this is your default screen that you'll see. So it says no smoke alarm. That means no smoke's been detected. So don't worry, it doesn't mean that there's not a device connected. It just means that it's not detected smoke and there's no fire currently, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're going to do a live test now just to make sure it's all working. So I'm just going to light a bit of paper. Be really careful if you're playing with uh, matches or flames. Okay, make sure you've got a safe space nearby to extinguish everything. And you can see here that that's super quick. That just detected it almost instantly. Um, really nice audible alarm. And this is what you get on the phone. So you can see that it pops up with an XSense Wi-Fi smoke alarm, smoke's detected. Go to the app and you can see it's got smoke detected. Now if this is you doing it, you can then go and silence the alarm. Okay, and you just go in to settings and click silence and that will stop the audible beeping. Um, really, really nice little device. Gives you peace of mind where you're away. So I'm gonna fit mine in my, my little uh, print area. So I'm not using wall plugs because this is going straight into just a wooden beam. Um, it's very lightweight, so I'm not at all worried about um, about you. There's no reason to use wall plugs, to be perfectly honest. Um, if you're using it in, if you're picking up on plasterboard, then make sure you use plasterboard wall plugs. Um, again, if you're going into brick, you need the relevant concrete wall plugs. Um, but just this, just a wooden area, nothing really to worry about. So two screws, really straightforward. Um, top and bottom, just make sure they're in nice and not too tight because you'll crack the plastic, but just in there. And then to put it on, it just literally screws on. Just line up the grooves, twist, and you're you're good to go. Um, device is on there, quite close to my printers. Um, so I've got my CR10 V2 there. Okay, so the, the smoke alarm's not gonna put the fire out, but it's gonna give you a really good early warning system and peace of mind. And if you combine this with maybe the Google Neos cameras or Enios cameras and a fire suppression system, um, you, you're gonna be you're gonna be pretty safe. Um, remember to upgrade your firmware, make sure you've got thermal runway protection enabled, and yeah. Hopefully that helps you. Remember, there's a 20% discount in the link below. Uh, use the link. Um, it really it helps me out, but it also helps you out with the discount. And also, please remember to subscribe and click the bell for future videos. Thanks a lot.